Hey guys, Lacey Lee here. Welcome back. For those of you that have been following my life the last few years and for those of you that are new here, in a nutshell, about two and a half years ago, I had a brain tumor. Thankfully, it was not cancer, but I went through a craniotomy to have a golf ball sized meningenoma removed. And it really changed my life. I'd also been dealing with assault charges and an ex-boyfriend, and honestly, I just, I needed to get away. Me and my dog, Jasper, did something crazy. I sold my house and I bought my very first travel trailer. Traveled a little bit in Canada, down through the United States, and even into Mexico. In fact, I spent 13 months living in Freya, my travel trailer. 2020 though has changed for all of us because of the coronavirus. I unfortunately lost my main source of income. I was an automotive journalist here in Canada hosting a television show. I'm trying again, like all of you though, to make some changes and adapt with the way the world is going. And I want to step into the category of more maybe an influencer and a lifestyle blogger. I still have access to press cars and trucks here in Canada to pull my trailer with, and really just hoping that my story, my adventures, my failures, my successes, will be enough for people to want to follow my adventures and support me. You might have noticed in last week's video, I was towing Freya with a 2020 Chevy Silverado. I didn't go into much detail last week, so today I'm gonna go into a little bit more depth as to what I liked about this truck and some of its features. Next week, I've got an update on my black tank. So if you like what you see, hit the subscribe button, and as always, leave your comments and suggestions. Super excited, you guys. Freya's finally come home from the shop after getting repairs done. It only took six months and I have a press vehicle booked. I'm here at GM Carter picking up the 2020 Chevy Silverado. I can't wait. This is the 2020 Chevy Silverado in the high country trim. Now the high country is the highest trim level available on this truck. It is the most luxurious and comes with a lot of technology and options such as a Bose sound system, heated steering wheel, park assist, and wireless charging. I think I'm gonna have an amazing time with this truck. The camera package gives you 15 unique views. Now, not only does this make towing a lot easier, but when you're driving a bigger truck, it makes parking a lot more manageable as well. First, I wanna thank GM Canada for letting me have this Chevy Silverado for two weeks. Truck buyers are some of the most loyal customers in the market. And I made a post last year, a little bit of a rant about truck guys, but I get it. Trucks have to be everything for their owners. People that own a truck usually drive it for work, for play, for pleasure. They have to take their families around. It really is a vehicle that has to do everything. So I get it. There is a lot of debate about the big three diesel engines. You've got the Duramax, Power Stroke, and Cummins. Cummins originally was only available in the Ram. There was a few years that we saw the Cummins in Nissan Titan, but that wasn't enough for Nissan to steal sales to the Titan truck. So for 2020, I believe, the Cummins is no longer available on that truck. I know I'm gonna get a lot of slack for this because again, truck owners love their trucks and guys are very loyal 
to what they have under the hood of their truck. But if you do the research, there is definitely pros and cons to each of the diesel engines that are available on the market. I do know at the end of the day, truck owners want to know what their trucks can tow. Unfortunately, both the Ford and Ram have this Chevy Duramax beat. The Silverado Duramax can only tow a maximum of 9,300 pounds. It's no slouch, but the competition is capable of more. What I really like about this truck is that it's comfortable. And by that, I mean not just the seats are comfortable for my body size and shape, but the, but the suspension, the steering, everything about this truck is easy. Now, even though it is a large truck, I feel the turning radius on this truck is a little tighter than Ram. And as a smaller framed woman, I don't feel like this truck is so overwhelming. And that does make a big difference when you're behind the wheel. There's a nice balance of buttons and knobs as well as touchscreen features. I think this would be a great truck to use if you had gloves on, you're using it for work, but it also looks nice if you're going to have your family or anyone else inside the truck. There's some cool technology that's available for trailering, and if you're gonna be towing, that is definitely an advantage. Now, I'm super disappointed that I did not get to try out the invisible trailer, but unfortunately, I didn't have the camera needed connected to my trailer to use it. Wink, wink, GM. If there's an opportunity for me to test out this technology, I'd love to. The gross vehicle weight rating on this truck is 7,100 pounds or 3,221 kilograms. And that does require that you get the crew cab four wheel drive model with this engine. Remember, different engine, different engines, different configurations, different features, different features that you add is going to have an effect on that number. So make sure you do your research before you buy. I'm actually sad to see this truck go. It's been super enjoyable to drive, surprisingly maneuverable. And GM's done a phenomenal job of creating an engine that has superb towing capabilities and impressive fuel efficiency.